I'm feeling good. I'm fresh off the dumbest haircut of my fucking life. <laughs> What I get for getting my hair cut in Wisconsin. <laughs> I was just there. Yeah, fuck yeah. Dude, people are so friendly there. I'm not used to it anymore because I live in LA. People don't talk to strangers that much here. <laughs> but I'm up there and people are just like, how are you enjoying your visit so far? I'm like, are we about to have sex right now? <laughs> are you asking me about my thoughts? My feelings? The guy in line behind me at CVS, his wife is at a wedding in Canada right now. I didn't ask. <laughs> My taco waiter was chubby when he was 17. I didn't ask him that. <laughs> I was just out there receiving information from people. It was a little intimate for me, for my personal comfort level, if I'm being honest. <laughs> My Uber driver asked me what I was doing that day. I was like, well, minding my fucking business, mostly. <laughs> so it's good to be back. I watched, I watched uh, The Wizard of Oz on the plane. That was tight. Who fucks with The Wizard of Oz? <laughs> Fuck yeah, this guy's into it. Hell yeah, dude. That movie rules. Dude, watching it as an adult, The Wicked Witch of the West? Before she got spun up in the twister, she was just an ugly school teacher. <laughs> she rode her bike up to Aunt Em's farm. She was like, hey, Dorothy, I noticed you and your dog been coming onto my farm. Your dog's been eating my crops. <laughs> That's a perfectly reasonable grievance. <laughs> in Dust Bowl era Kansas, of all times and places, see, these jokes got a little bit of history to them, too. <laughs> This poor woman probably used all of her water to grow one tomato and then Toto ate it. I would have flipped the fuck out. Some big titty teenager wanders onto my farm, lets her dog eat my food. I would have been like, hey asshole, see what happens if you ever come back on my land. Here's a hint, I will fucking kill you. Anyway, yeah, that's a movie I watched on the plane. <laughs> I've been having this problem when I fly. Anyone else just by applause, do you get gas when you fly? <laughs> Enthusiastically, okay, terrific. <laughs> yeah, it's not just us, dude. I Googled it when I landed. I barely had to type in the W and Google was like, why do I get gas when I fly? <laughs> like, yeah. Turns out it's an air pressure thing. Like how your ears pop, your butt wants to pop too. <laughs> but it can't. Until you land. And then I set myself free. I don't give a fuck at that point. I just deflate my way to baggage claim. Just like a balloon someone let go of. I'm just like, shit, carousel five already. <laughs> And then you use those toilets at the airport that flush themselves, which I think I prefer to flush. <laughs> the timing on those gets real aggressive. <laughs> it snatched the toilet paper out of my goddamn hand. <laughs> I'm like, can I have a second, please? Before you rip my lips off, shit. <laughs> Right before I took that trip, my boyfriend broke up with me and told me that he had cheated on me. And now he wants me back. Oh. And when I was in my 20s, my friends would have been like, fuck him, you are never talking to him again. But now they're so worn down <laughs> that they're just like, well, maybe that was what he needed to do. <laughs> to realize he wants to be with you. I want a guy who just knows that and doesn't need to hook up with some busted slut to figure it out. You know what my own mother said to me? My own mom was just like, I once asked a woman why she never married. She said it was because she didn't know her last chance was her last chance. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> My last chance. You lived in Underwood, Iowa. You had six guys there. You went through them, you went through them. I live in Los Angeles. We got millions of men here. I mean, most of you are a real walk around the block, but there's shitloads of you. I'll say that for you. 
the way that I met my ex was he was in the audience at a show and he DM'd me on Instagram afterwards. And usually when people hit me up after shows, it's to tell me what a great time they had with their girlfriends. <laughs> like, oh, I'm so glad I could help you have sex with someone else. <laughs> you all leave here on your little dates. You think you got such a great sense of humor because you laughed at my jokes, but no one wants to fuck the clown, do they? <laughs> Do they? No, I'm fucking around. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> so now it's back to me and the cats. <laughs> back to the original gang. <laughs> I have two cats. The girl one is fat. And everyone who's ever seen her has felt the need to point that out to me. <laughs> I got this cat when she was six years old. She's all fucked up. She has a piece of her ear missing. She has a snaggle tooth. She has shit in her eyes. I'm like, I didn't do any of this to the cat. She looked like this when I got her. This was a floor model. They're like, well, she's overweight. Then don't fuck her. What do you want from me? Mind getting the fuck out of our faces, please? let my cat exist in her body. <laughs> Sorry she won't make the calendar this year. <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> but yeah, it's back to us. We've been getting the snuggles in, doing what we need to do. Uh, who here has been paying attention to what's going on in Ukraine? Ooh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm watching this show on Netflix. <laughs> where they send little Asian kids to the store. Is anyone else watching this? <laughs> old enough, old enough on Netflix. It's so good. It's Japanese kids ages two to five. They send them on errands by themselves. They fail every time. <laughs> they like tie a little bell around their neck, watch them cross the street. <laughs> One little boy didn't even make it out of his house. <laughs> he just like spilled his juice and played with his blocks. <laughs> Dude. One little girl made it all the way to the market and all the way home, saw her mom, tripped and fell through the groceries all over the sidewalk, burst into tears. I must have laughed for 15 minutes. <laughs> One little boy made it to the market and he got his stuff. He had to carry it up this huge, huge hill to get home. He was struggling. He was a little sweat trickling. His little hair was wet. He was panting, but he was going to make it, goddammit. And he, he made it to the top of the hill. He set his shit down the re to rest. His apples rolled out of the bag and rolled all the way back down to the bottom of the hill. And they don't edit this thing for shit. So you can see an adult man camera operator jump out of the way so that the apples would roll past him. <laughs> He got his apples, he went all the way back on. He set his stuff down again, and it happened again. So he took all his stuff back down again, made it all the way back up. I'm not even fucking with you, it happened a third time. <laughs> Do you know how many apples this kid had to keep together? Two! <laughs> he had two! Anyway, check it out. <laughs> Yeah, we're trying to get back out there. I'm back on Hinge. That's been a waking fucking nightmare. <laughs> I matched with two guys. One of them unmatched me immediately. <laughs> I was like, well, that's about all I can take of that. <laughs> I can't talk to these fucking guys. One guy's profile was like, I never in my whole life sent a dick pic. Never? First of all, what's wrong with your dick? <laughs> because it's not nothing or you would have sent it out there by now. I've sent dick pics, I don't even have a dick. <laughs> Live a little, dude, have an experience, shit. Think that's gonna impress me? That just tells me no one's ever wanted to see your dick that bad. Because men, I love you, bless your little hearts, I truly do, but you're pretty easy to talk into shit. <laughs> Here's how you talk a guy into sending you a picture of his dick. Just be like, Send me a picture of your dick. <laughs> that has
has a 100% success rate. <laughs> it has never not worked. If it ever didn't work, I'm sure you could just be like, I bet you got a weird one. <laughs> you would have a dick in your inbox so fucking fast. I never sent one. Oh, congratulations, you're a fucking dork. <laughs> Different guy's profile was like, I don't want a girl who says too many bad words. Well, I don't want to fuck a bitch. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. I've been Laura Bunny. Yeah.